All right, guys, so today we are going to be looking at the GHK uh, GBBR conversion kit again, except there is a difference. I've had this kit for quite a while now, and I've also shot it a lot, in addition to also running it on compressed air, which, you know, bumping up the pressure a bit more than it's really supposed to be has not done any favors to the internals of this gun so there are some parts that are cracked and need to be replaced and you say why don't you just get a new kit well that kind of defeats the purpose of this video because in this video i have gotten a spool of nylon filament and nylon is incredibly tough and it is basically going to be the best substitute beyond besides metal not only that but it is flexible enough and it can take impacts making it like basically the best thing that I can use in this gun that I have laying around, that is. I mean, polycarbonate's also good, but it's not quite as flexible and it can't handle impacts quite as well, or at least so I've heard. I haven't really tested them side by side. So today and in subsequent videos, we are going to be opening this up. We are going to be modeling new parts for it. We are going to be printing said new parts. I am going to be posting links in the description so that you can download those new parts for free. Yes, I did say free. I'm not charging you for them. However, if you don't have a 3D printer and you want replacement parts, I will probably be posting these replacement parts on eBay. Um, so if you want a 3D printed nylon replacement and you don't have a 3D printer or your printer can't print nylon, then um, I will also be, once I get those up, I will be leaving links in the description to where you can go and buy those parts. Um, because to my knowledge, there are no replacement parts sold for these. And these are almost as a high-performance upgrade um, because there are... I, I don't know what the original parts are made out of in this. The original plastic parts, that is. In fact, we'll, we'll go ahead and open it up real quickly. Um, yes, I did lose the pin, the front pin to my gun at some point or another. And then I found it. And then now I don't know exactly where it is. So we'll go ahead and take off the upper receiver real quickly as everything falls out. And there you see, there's the 3D printed PETG part that we had before. Now there's quite a lot of problems with this model and that's why I ultimately didn't end up putting it up. I know uh, uh, several people asked me when I was going to post the files and that is because I haven't done that because that is because well, I intended to do this video series um, and I've needed to do it for quite a while. So go ahead and punch this pin out here. And further disassemble this and as you can see this PETG part shattered and that is kind of what I expected to happen at some point because when I did the model I noticed this it is just slightly it either contracted a little bit when I printed it or it just was slightly too small um, otherwise so the bolt was basically putting all of its force on this PETG part and even though this is pretty strong PETG doesn't have a lot of stretch at all it's 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 fairly flexible I mean you can see I could flex it like a lot but it doesn't have much stretch and nylon has a little bit of stretch and that is um, going to be really helpful when absorbing impacts I mean you can see this didn't break on the layer lines this broke almost like glass so that is definitely not a failure of the print but rather a failure of the plastic itself. And at the time I didn't have nylon. I do believe in that video I mentioned that nylon may be a better alternative, but I just didn't do anything about it, I guess. So um, I don't know exactly what the original material um, this stuff is. I would um, It's pretty rigid. I'm not quite sure. It's probably ABS. Um, I would be really surprised if it was anything other than ABS, although it may be some sort of reinforced nylon. I just really don't have a clue. It's not marked anywhere that I can see, so I'm just going to assume that it is probably just regular ABS. And ABS is great for a lot of things, but it is not quite as strong as nylon. Um, in addition to replacing this part, uh, we're also going, I'm also going to model and replace this part as well, even though this isn't cracked or broken in any way. I figured, you know what, I might as well replace it now. And that also means that you guys get the model files for it um, in case you have, in case yours broken, you want another one. Um, so moving on from there, uh, as you can see quite obviously, this 
big huge crack it's not focusing stupid camera is not focusing but anyway there's a huge crack that runs right along here and that is just simply from the bolt slamming into it repeatedly so we are going to also be replacing this metal bit with nylon as well and you say oh well it's metal um yes but it can it's still receiving impact and this isn't good metal this is probably zinc or some other cheap crap and to be honest nylon probably will do a better job in replacement and to replace this part here it's going to be a relatively hard part to print but like i said i will be um, having all these parts available fairly cheaply on my ebay store most likely at some point the one part that we're not going to replace is the bolt um, first of all, it is highly unlikely that your bolt is going to break. And also this is very heavy and it has to be heavy. This needs to be metal and nylon. I mean, you could print it and then put like a weight, a metal weight or something in it, but I highly doubt that anyone's going to have an issue with this breaking. I mean, this is a very substantial piece of metal. I mean, should it break? I mean, I suppose you could print another one, but it likely wouldn't perform very well. You wouldn't get hardly any recoil as it's just not heavy enough. Um, and really, like I mentioned, it's probably not going to break. So why bother? Um, of course, we can't really print a spring well, but it's unlikely that this is going to you know, wear out to the point where the gun's just going to stop functioning. And the thing is, all of these parts up here in the upper half are parts that are taking a lot of impact. So they are going to break at some point. All these parts down here that are all the same zinc sort of pot metal, those are not going to break, most likely, unless you're just horribly abusing the gun, you're not keeping it maintained and oiled. These parts, are you're never going to have an issue with them, most likely. I mean, sure, they're going to wear out at some point, but, I mean, you're likely not going to have the gun when these wear out. Um, these are more, the, the parts on the upper are more, um, are going to break because of the impact. I mean, this, like I said, this is very substantial, and this is slamming into it um, very hard. So, I think that that's probably going to be about it for this first part, I'm just kind of explaining um, what we're going to be doing, and in subsequent videos, which will be coming out in the next weeks or so, we will be printing replacement parts. Again, in those videos, I will be making much better models, and those models will be available for free for download. Um, otherwise, you will mo you'll most likely be able to get them off my eBay store um, fairly shortly. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a very nice day.